Hola everybody, my name's Izzy and welcome to Izzy's Planet. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression video game play of the Lord of the Rings Online. So I do have to thank Dragonslave444 for coming to my channel and suggesting that I do a video on this game. Anyways, it came to me as a surprise when I found out that Lord of the Rings Online is free to play now. This game had just uh, launched to a free to play game from a pay to play game in September 10, 2010. So that means the game has been pay to play for three years and it was very successful. So thank God we have a free-to-play game, Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Anyways, here on our race we have four different races to choose from, and our classes we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine classes to choose from. And in every race that you get to choose, you get a different ability here that's listed on the info for that race. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the man this time around, and select a class. And the champion seems to be the equivalent to the um warrior in most games so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as the champion but as 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 um, it is the same up here for the race info you do get different abilities for being that particular class so we won't go over that for right now I'll just continue and put my name in the area up here there you go and it has a randomized button to see if you can randomize the name that uh, is available in the game anyways I'm gonna quickly go through here and just uh, quickly do a um, a character because this has a I have to, a lot to cover in this game so we're going to create that yeah oh by the way guys you get to choose your origin of where you're going to spawn in the game when it spawns you so I'm going to go and leave it as Breland for now and create my character see if it's available and it is so we're going in uh, the customization screen should be pretty decent I have seen other videos of the character creation center so it should be pretty fun for everybody anyways this game it has been successful and now it's free to play so it's uh, pretty good now let's go and find out why or let's find out how cool it is together um, this game was published by Turbine, by the way, the same people who created Dungeons and & Dragons. And right up from the back, we can see that the graphics are really cool, like really nicely rendered and everything. So we got Strider over here. So I'm going to follow him around real quick. And over here, we got these little tutorials and everything. I'm going to click OK from and enter that. OK. So, And by the way, I don't know if you heard, as I entered the area, I could hear kind of like a narrator speaking. And I was like... And, and that's obviously him trying to tell the story of the game and whatnot. So I'm going to press OK right here and tell me to go to the satchel. So I'm going to double click to open the satchel. By the way, I'm walking with WASD and pointing around with the mouse, of course. And right as I right click, I can move the screen in the direction that I'd like to be facing. So inventory items. OK, it's trying to show me that this is my bag down here. I'm going to go and equip these by right clicking. And talk to Strider because he's got this big old ring over his head. Hmm, accessing the inventory with I and right click on the enemy to start beginning it looks like I'm gonna have to fight him to tr prove myself so I'm gonna double click on his face using that has no effect it took a while to get started guys you have to be patient with the games because although I, I don't seem to be attacking I'm gonna go ahead and double click again I wonder if I have to keep on spamming him. No, it just continuously attacks, so I'm going to leave that alone. Oh, by the way, guys, I saw down here, this is our Powerball. It's kind of hard to see, but this huge little, uh, this huge um, display of uh, available keys that you get to put your skills on kind of makes it easy to, to view the skills that are available. And it looks like we already have three of them. In the start of the game, we already got three, so that's really good. Anyways, I'm following Strider over here. I'm going to go into this portal, and I got prompted with another one of these things. I'm trying to disable them, but no, they won't disable. Because this is kind of pointless. Doors and portals open to new places. I mean, I, no one will disagree with that, right, guys? Okay, so let's go on over here, talk to Strider. So what is, what's going on, Strider? All right. See you later, Strider. I'm going to go ahead and go away from him. Just check out the scene real quick. Jumping around is pretty good. It's not a wimpy jump or nothing. Okay, we got an enemy right here. Got to destroy this guy. Just going to double click. Oh, I'm going to try some of my skills down here and just spam him up. One does that, and I just destroyed him with that <laughs> one skill. We'll find out what the other ones do later. Oh, and I just closed that... Um, that tutorial window it did show us a little bit of the interface down here right here all this crazy stuff there's a lot of um, stuff going on down there it looks really crowded and that could turn a lot of uh, gamers off when they see a video uh, introducing them to this game and then they see down there it's just way too crowded and they'll just be like oh no I don't know if I want to play that it seems too hard to figure out but guys I'm gonna try to familiarize you with that bar as much as I can as soon as we get out of this tutorial area because it's definitely a tutorial area. it's kind of it's very um how do you say story driven and a lot of direction you know so take this straight
say. Okay, good. Okay, now I saved this little girl. That could be a woman, for goodness sake. This is Lord of the Rings, you know? We do have our little dwarves and everything in the game, so... And a place to put it. Looks like this little girl is pretty pissed off, and she's going to start some, um, t for lack of a better word, shit. <laughs> All right, let me go and follow this little critter right here. I really do like the graphics and the smoothness of the game. I'm really surprised because whenever I um, record with Fraps, it always lags. So this is one of the better games to record with Fraps. It's pretty cool. I'm just spamming all these cool little um, skills that I've already been given in the beginning of the game. Looks like only one person was tough enough to stick around while the whole place is going on fire. Anyways, I better get out of here for goodness sake. It's about time you got it here. Oh, come on now. Is he talking to me or is he talking to that little girl? Because if he's talking to a little girl, then that little girl was kind of about to die. And he's over here just chilling. And me, if he's talking to me, then he needs to gain a little bit more respect. Anyways, let's check that out, guys. The Black Rider from the movie oh, Lord of the Rings. That is, that's kind of cool. See, I have heard that the story not alone is very uh, story-driven, but it also includes characters and enemies from the actual movie, so it's kind of adding to the franchise, adding to the movie, you know? So, oh, look at this, and it looks like I'm scared. I'm just like, oh, no. Just anyone, anybody who's watching this video, just put your hand over my character. I don't want anybody to know that I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, all this good stuff suffice now and whatnot. It looks like he's actually talking down here, huh? Yeah, here in the chat bar. He didn't say anything over here. Everyone else says things in the video you can actually hear, but he's the only one that said things in the chat bar. Okay, Amir. Amder, looks like you got owned. Continue quest. Talk to Strider. Oh, okay. Alright. Let's get out of his way, everyone. Don't mind him. Anyways, I got the option to finish now or finish later. I'm going to go and finish now because we have a lot to cover in this game. I don't want to run out of time and not be able to upload this video. Anyways, it's kind of cool. We um, got out of the tutorial area. This area might be lagging a lot, but that's okay. No biggie. Got a little video here for us to view. Um, if I were playing the game right now, like for real, I would be paying attention. Anyways, um... Other things about the game, um, there are limitations to the free-to-play, guys. You can buy a membership for the game, but free-to-play, you have limitations on quests and areas where you get to travel on the map. Also, you have limitations on uh, a few other things, but no, big, no biggie. It's, it's a really wide-open game. You have plenty to discover already. So we get our selection of Threadbare Cloth Shirt, which is 35-35 durability, and this one, which is 65-65 durability. So uh, I'm going to select that one. And it shows, shows, our, shows us our little map right here. And I go and exit out of there and just travel real quick and tell you about the game of what I learned so far. So right here we have a little computer here on the interface, guys. I'm looking down at the bar. And it shows us our help, our options, so we can optimize our resolution and whatnot and how loud the master sound is going to be. Over here we got our crafting skills. We, um, right here it says craft vocations. Right, that's how we're going to obtain our crafting skills. We get a vocation and each vocation has like three to four different skills in which we can obtain. All those skills are very random so it's going to get a little confusing. I'm going to skip that part. Down here it looks like I have a social area. This is the fel uh, following friends uh, night shift raid and group stage info. All these things are different um, words uh, for like guild, um, party quest, all that good stuff. Though they use those particular words to kind of get the flow of the Lord of the Rings theme going on here. So that's really good. I, it, it gets you into the game a little bit. Over here, I have a little ring that says my quest log. Okay, this is where my quest will appear here. Complete, completed quests and whatnot. And right here, I got an old man sign right there. And look at that. It brings up the traits. Traits, guys, are actually one of the bigger things that I believe are a part of the game. So I'm going to go and try to explain that to you in a nutshell. Um, virtue traits. Um, virtue traits are available for all different classes, all different races, everyone in the game. For as long as you complete different... Um, uh, quests and stuff like that and you keep on doing all these different quests you get obtain these by doing those now these race traits and class traits you can attain by doing the same thing but they're different for every race and every class as you can see I'm just flipping through them real quick and for classes look at that it's got deadly storm the berserker and the martial champion so it's got a lot to choose from there so it's gonna be really hard to find another person who's got um, 
the same traits as you. Anyways, by obtaining those traits, you can um, equip them to your virtual traits, or your race traits, or your class traits area, where you can only uh, equip a few. So five for here, five for there, and seven, eight, eight for there, or nine. And legendary traits, these are the best ones, guys. If you um, do something overall that's really cool, like defeat a huge monster in the game, you're just going to want to equip them. Um, because those traits are going to be available to you, and you can equip three at a time. So you can, yeah. There's a lot of uh, potential for being really strong in the game. Anyways, I'm going to find a monster and see what uh, the EXP rate for the beginner is. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go up to this little thingamajigger. I can't really read it because its font, its name is being hidden. I'm going to go ahead and spam all my skills because I don't want to die. This is a level four monster. No, look at that. All my health up here. The um, green H. HP bar, that's different, right, guys? Because normally it's red. It's going down really slowly. I must have a lot of health. And this is on my MP bar, also known as power. Because down here on our our skills bar, this guy's just trying to help me. I don't really like when people try to help me do that kind of stuff. Anyways, let's see down here. I got a, it costs five power. And this is our power, guys. We went over that just a second here. Five power to use this one and at one Favor. Favor is the equivalent to energy or um, rage in World of Warcraft. So, guys, if you know about runes and magic, I did do a review over that one. It is the same thing. And I noticed that they come up here, this little circle right here. It comes up right above there, and that's where my favor is going to be stored. And then I get to use um, higher skills, in which I don't obtain right now. I don't have any of those right now. Anyways, let's go into our skill book by pressing K. That is normally the button to press to open up our skill book. I'm going to go ahead and fight this one uh, with my um, passive attack and show you these guys building the favor. Okay, engaging the tide. Anyways, these are your skills for now. No biggie. We've already been through here, actually, so I'm going to exit out of there. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. I'm going to go into my character. My character screen was right there. It did have a few, actually, not even that many different equip areas where I could equip cool items that will make me stronger and whatnot. But that's okay. By the way, guys, the uh, traits are used, like the basic traits, they're used for like making you stronger, durable, more durable, more intellect and stuff like that. So the game has a lot of in-depth to our characters, the creation of our characters. So anyways, guys, I hope you really did like the um, first impression video of Lord of the Rings Online. If anybody does have a suggestion for another game, then just put it on the comment section below or come to my channel and put your suggestion video that I can do for a first impression. Thank you very much for watching. You'll have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys.